what is going on guys, Xerox Halter here, back with another video. Uh, guys, today the import and export DLC is out for Grand Theft Auto Online. Uh, right now it is currently 4.13 in the morning. I have exams tomorrow, which is great, but I stayed up all night waiting for this DLC. Um, and I'm going to make this video kind of different parts. I didn't realize how much money all the stuff was going to be. So, um, I will not be able to afford it, but in this video, or in this part, I'm going to be buying, I'll show you what the prices are, and I will be buying, um, everything. Alright, and, uh, first let's head over to Legendary Motorsports, uh, where we have the, uh, Pegasi Tempesta which is 1.329 million dollars uh, a lot of money uh, now we have the Ocelot Penetrator great name which is 880 thousand uh, dollars this one looks pretty sweet um, get it all out of here and then in Benny's we have a lot of stuff um, we have this one, the Principe Diabolus, I think it's called. Uh, we have the Anus uh, Elegy, which is just like the same one, but you can now customize it. And uh, let's go into Warstock, which is where all the main stuff is. So we have the Ramp Buggy, which I'm not really sure what this means here. Um, in order to purchase this vehicle, you must fulfill the following criteria. Uh, so yeah, we have this. Uh, we have the Phantom Wedge. Uh, the Technical Aqua. I was looking at getting this one when I get, if I'm going to get a Shark card. Because they have like a price like, um, they're like adding from 8 million. I think it's like 16 million right now that you get. I'm going to get this one right here. Because it goes in the water. Um, do we have the Armored Boxville? Uh, this one looks pretty crazy. Um, we have the Wastelander here. And we have the Ruiner 2000. Wow, that's a lot of money. Um, we have the Rocket Voltic 3.8. Wow, that's, like, this is crazy. Um, and then if we go into here, this is where I'm going to buy my executive, or no, it's not in here, it's in here. Alright, this is where I'm going to buy the garage, I'll show you it. Alright, I'm not sure how much I'll be able to buy, because as you see up there, I have 1.3 million dollars right now. Um, so the first garage is... 1.15 interior well that's already over my limit um, when I'm just gonna buy a basic garage right now and upgrade it once I get more money let's see what we got here I think I'm gonna go with this one uh, er, let's uh, yeah, let's go with this. Signage. Can I even afford this? Yeah, I can like barely afford it, but but yeah, I'll I'll get that. And then I guess we have all this stuff. Um, yeah, I'll just buy this. So we have um office garage one purchased with all this stuff. Uh, there's a custom shop too, which I didn't buy. Let's go ahead and buy that. Wow, I have $767 now. It's amazing. <laughs> Alright, let's check it out. Uh, how do we get to it? I think we go up in here. Alright. Uh, yeah, like this. 
All right, let's see. Um, so I was planning on doing a full video. Oh, this looks cool. Now I'm guessing up here is blocked off, maybe? Or what? Or I just can't buy anything up here. Maybe, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, it looks really cool. So it can hold 20 cars. Um... But yeah, I was planning on doing a big stream, buying everything, um, but the Rockstar Game services were down for a while. Just your friend, LJT. Uh, um, they were down for a while, so I couldn't, um, so I'm just going to continue this on to another video and then probably upload it um, on Wednesday. What is this? Oh, sweet. Wow, that's pretty cool. Alright, how do I get out of here? Uh, do I just go through here? Yeah. Exit to ground, let's just do that. Um, I'm gonna grab one of my cars and see if I'm allowed to bring it in here. Or if it's only like the high-end vehicles. Where'd my truck? Oh, did someone blow up my truck? Seriously. Okay, I need to get my car. Hang on, just in case that guy wants to mess with me. Uh. All right, let me just grab my car and then. You calling for some wheels? I'm Johnny on the spot. I'll oh, sweet! So I can call from. I don't know what we should grab. I guess I'll just grab my allergy. I'll, I'll get back to it then. Um, yeah, and then I'll carry on after. Uh, when I have some more money, and then upload it. Okay, how do I get to the garage? Oh shit, that's not even my fucking car. I wasn't looking. And why would you park right there? Well, Fucking retard. Alright. Let's see how this works out. Alright. Oh, cool. Did they add this? Was this here before? Oh, that's really cool. Alright, let's see. Oh my god, that's sweet. Holy crap. That's awesome. So I guess it kind of goes around like this. These cars. And then it goes upstairs too. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. Um, Yeah, I'm going to end this part off and I'll continue on tomorrow. But it'll all be in the same video, so it's just going to be a second for you guys. Um, but yeah, uh, I'll see you in the next part. Alright guys, so this part here um, is my warehouse that I just bought. This part right here. Um, this, this video, or this part of the video is filmed a day later from the first one. As you can see, I have about 1.2 completely blew through the Megalodon shark card. Um, so I bought a warehouse, and I've already done some cell missions. Um, so there's three types of cars that you can get. There's, like, there's high-end cars, there's, like, mid-value cars, and then there's low-value cars. Or, I guess they would be high-value, too. Um, and the high-value cars are usually around $40,000 if you want to sell it, uh, with no customizations, and... Uh, no strings attached, so you're just going to have to drive there and back. Um, but you can also do it for like $100,000. Uh, you have to customize, you have to put about twenty grand into it. Uh, sorry about that, you have to put about twenty grand into it. And um, yeah, that's the only downside. And then and I guess there's helicopters and stuff that come after you. And every time that you crash, 
um, you lose a bit of money on your commission. So you're making $100,000. Like with me, I sold a, um, what was that? It was a Progen uh, T20, and I had $100,000. I crashed a few times into uh, the people that were trying to kill me, and I ended up walking away with like $82,000, which is still pretty good. Um, let's go down here, and these are the Pegasus vehicles that uh, that you can buy. Keep going down here. I actually I bought one already. It's the uh, so yeah. This is where you keep all your Pegasus vehicles, like all of uh, all of these guys here. I ended up I bought this guy here. Um, for 1.755 million, uh, a little bit expensive, but whatever. But it's so worth it. Here, I'll I'll just drive outside the garage and show you guys. Yeah, it's it's just so this, it's so worth getting this. Uh, you can drive on the water, which I'm gonna add in a clip. Um, but yeah, you press uh, if you're on Xbox, you press right on the D pad. And see the wheels go in, so it's like a sea doo or a jet ski. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna include a clip uh, right here of what it looks like when it's in the water. All right, guys, this is one thing I forgot to show you on this uh, like quad uh, thing. If you press uh, left bumper on the Xbox One, it actually shoots uh, machine guns, but they're not very effective because, of course, when you're driving, uh, if you see this little arrow or the little thing there. Uh, it's pretty hard, but I'll show you what it looks like when you go in the water. You roll these up, and then you can be in the water.